Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick uh, quick video for ThinkPad users, uh, X1 Carbon users. This might apply to other ThinkPads, I'm not sure, but um, I've been doing some BIOS updates lately. Um, there have been some some pretty significant BIOS updates. One was the, uh, I talked about it in one of my previous videos, which was for the um, deep sleep state for, um, added a Linux option on there. Uh, there was one that came out on the 1st of October, just came out, um, which added... And this is really significant for the uh, OpenBSD users. Added a hyper-threading enable disable option uh, because as of OpenBSD version 6.4, um, this is disabled in the operating system by default. So, um, yeah, pretty significant. So I've been doing these updates. But one thing I wanted to do, and this is a lot less serious, um, it's more of an aesthetic issue, was um, I wanted to get rid of that ugly Lenovo logo when I start my laptop up, the red one. And um, I'd seen a couple of people mention it, talk about it. Uh, the instructions are never that clear. I struggled with it. Um, finally figured out how to do it and why it wasn't working when I tried it. Um, <clears throat> in case you haven't done this yet, um, go to the Lenovo site to the BIOS update page. Uh, if you're using uh, a, a, uh, a Nix operating system, not Windows, then you want to get the bootable CD. Um, download the ISO file. Um, once you get it into, once you've downloaded it, uh, run this program here, get El Torito, it just changes it into an IMG file, um, give it a name, and then, um, you know, and then DD it to your USB stick, and then you've got a bootable USB stick with the, uh, with the new image, with the new, uh, BIOS, um, <coughs> so I've got mine plugged in already, um, and what, you basically want to do is you want to throw this file here in uh, your your custom logo into the uh, into the directory of the of the USB stick, and um, that's pretty much it. Now it comes with uh, some instructions, but they're written in sort of broken Chinese English. Like, look, prepare to same image and copy it. Um, I wasn't really sure. It's kind of not very clear on exactly what you need to do. Um, it has to be limited to 60 kilobytes. Um, I tried these file formats here, BMP and JPEG, and had no luck with it. It was only the GIF that worked for me. Um, and I I couldn't get it working. Uh, I didn't know why it wasn't working until I came over here. And um, so this is the original image here. It's an SVG file. Um, you've got to change the mode to indexed and reduce the maximum number of colors to 16. So once you do that, it will, um, <clears throat> it will, and then convert it to a GIF file. It will, uh, it will work. It'll pick it up. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to switch over to, um, to, uh, my camera video. I'll just show you it, um, show you it working. I'll show you the, uh, the prompt. There's a, there's a prompt that pops up that shows, um, shows you that it's actually being detected. Um, but I'll show you that now. Okay, so I've, uh, I've plugged the USB in. Uh, I'm just going to uh, turn the laptop on now and just show you what the logo looks like and then the, uh, and the prompt that kind of confirms that it's, uh, it's detecting your image. So there's your custom boot up logo. Looks pretty cool, hey? Um, you know, obviously it, it doesn't really, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it lasts for, what, two seconds? Um, you know, we, I, I guess it, it's really not an important issue at all, but for, you know, obviously it's an aesthetic, it's aesthetically appealing. So, you know, that's why we do these things, right? Because we like things to look cool. Um, so yeah, you get to the screen here, press number two, um, it'll say, do you want to continue? Say yes. And then you'll get this prompt here that says a custom startup image uh, file was found. Uh, that kind of confirms that you've um, that you've done it right. You've put the image where it is. If you use a JPEG, I just wanna just wanna warn you. I, I had an issue with that, and it distorted the screen, so I had to do the whole process again. Um, that's why I went uh, ended up using a GIF file in the end. Um, now I just want to show you something. Um, if you do want to do this, if you want to experiment with this and play around with it a few times, uh, maybe you'll get the image wrong once, or you you know, um, if you want to use the same BIOS update to do this several times, um, you basically, I'll just show you this, you have to set this option, <clears throat> um, otherwise, you know, you'd be waiting for a new update before you can, uh, before you can change it again. 
So you come into your BIOS menu, go to security, go to uh, UEFI, UEFI, however you pronounce it, um, BIOS update option, and you want to disable secure rollback prevention. Okay, that's enabled by default. So it says um, if it's uh, disabled, allow flashing to older version of UEFI BIOS um, or same version. So yeah, if you want to kind of play around with this and, and try a few different logos, then uh, then that's what you have to do. You have to disable it, and that's really it. That's it there. I know it's not very. Um, and just as to uh, what was I saying before the um, uh, yeah the latest update just added this feature here. Intel hyper threading technology dis uh, enabled. Um, I've still got mine enabled, but um, yeah, I mean this is something that the uh, the OpenBSD developers have um, have advised people to do to disable this for for security purposes so yeah that's it that's how you um that's how you change the the logo